this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from Asia Star. 12 noon update, guys. This is a Ric Flair of crypto. Woo, in the house. Wow, we got a really insane, amazing, this has never happened before video. I found something really interesting on the Ethereum website. I think it's gonna blow your mind, so you guys have to stay tuned for that. It's really interesting. It's, it, it, it's kind of a telling signal. It's about Doge. I just can't believe that you know this is actually on the Ethereum homepage. You may have not noticed it. I noticed it. This is a shocker, and maybe it's related to Vitalik and the devs having uh, their their conversation recently. And definitely, it's something to do with the Ethereum bridge. It's there. It's in plain sight, but I don't think anyone noticed it. Uh, I think I'm probably the first person to pick up on that. So when we're going to talk about it, you smash the comments. Guys, we've got the London, th uh, London Fork coming. Uh, that's coming in around about nine hours from time of shooting this video. So, uh, you know, is it going to be a situation of, uh, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news? Is uh, Ethereum going to tank? Is it going to go down? Is it going to go up? We're going to talk about that. And we've got much more to talk about. We're going to do TA on uh, Doge. We're going to do TA on uh, Bitcoin. We're going to do some D TA on Doge. Then we're going to look in the markets, guys. So you're going to watch the end. This is really, really interesting and brilliant news, guys. So you guys are just going to have to buckle up, stay the end. Remember, none of this is financial advice. And remember, watch out for nice cameras in the contest. Remember, we're giving away one Ethereum. So if you want to be in it to win it, you got to subscribe and like. Uh, the winner's being uh, chosen by software. So guys, let's get into it right now. This is amazing news for Ethereum. Wow, uh, it's a mind blower. It's insane, I've, and this never happened before. All right, so right now we're seeing uh, Bitcoin right now is uh, trading at $39,751, and that's about $1,000 below my uh, resistance level of 40750 And uh, I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, I think this is just a, a little bit of a, of a, of a retracement. Uh, you know, we've we've set, you know, higher lows right now. And uh, I think we could probably today, we'll probably go down to about 39.5, 39.4 area. And then uh, we'll uh, see what's happening. You know, as you guys know, there's a lot of people that are sitting on the sidelines right now. The AMC short squeeze is over. So they're going to be looking for a new place to put their money. And I think they're going to be waiting. Uh, they're going to be waiting a little bit until after the London hard fork uh, happens. Because I think a lot of people are... You know, worried about is this going to be by the by the rumor, sell the news? Are we do you, do we expect that uh, with the Ethereum uh, London hard fork? Do we do we expect it to go down? Do we expect it to go up? So you know, there's some mixed messages out there. Some people saying, yeah, it's going to go down. It's going to tank. It's going to tank. It's going to tank 20, 30, 40 percent. Uh, we're going to talk about some data that uh, shows you what happens uh, with other uh, hard forks in the past, and uh, we'll we'll jump into that in a minute. But let's take a look at the Ethereum price right now. Ethereum Ethereum right now is, uh, you know, it's it's not looking too bad. Uh, you know, sure we're down we're down about uh, about you know less than one percent. But yesterday we had a huge uh, upside to the uh, eight point six eight percent. Right now Ethereum is uh, trading above twenty seven hundred, so that's really good. If we can stay above 2700, that's really a psychological level. And uh, so London hard fork in about nine hours, guys. So uh, where do I see where do I see Ethereum going? And in the short term, I definitely think that uh, you know we can get to 3500 dollars to uh, close to 4000 dollars by the end of the month. Uh, you know I think that we'll see uh, we'll see definitely Ethereum uh, range bound here, and then we'll see uh, it go up. Uh, you know shortly. So I wouldn't panic. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I think everything's looking pretty good for Ethereum right now. So it's cool beans, so don't panic. Uh, I'm thinking for, you know, possible worst case scenario, we may have a 10%, uh, you know, 10% uh, price correction tomorrow uh, because if this turns out to be, uh, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news. Uh, so if we have a 10% uh, price reduction yesterday, for, I mean, tomorrow, uh, well, tomorrow, I mean, this is Asia time, so tomorrow it's probably it's going to be late night uh, Asia time that uh, we're going to see the uh, London hard fork, but it's going to be tomorrow in America. So if I take where we are right now and I do and I do like a 10% price reduction, I think that we'll be seeing uh, we'll see we we'll seeing Ethereum probably go down to 2400 to 2500 range. That's a worst case scenario. Uh, you know, if I have a bullish scenario, if I have a bullish scenario coming in and I see a uh, 10% increase, then that will take us from where we are today, where we are right now. And if I go up 10% uh, to around about there, that should take us. That should take us to around about uh, 27, 27, 22. So 
you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty bullish either way that that's what's going to happen, guys. So I wouldn't panic too much uh, right now. Let me just redraw that for you. So I see us going up to around about. Uh, I see us going up to around about uh, this this range here, about uh, 10 to 12 percent increase, and uh, that gives me around about. Uh, you know, that, that could give me close to $3,000. So if we get a 10% pump from where we are now, we could go up to uh, like 3000 bucks to by tomorrow. So let's see, you know, uh, let's see. Uh, I mean, we're either going to go down to 25, 24, 25, or we're going to hit uh, 3000. So that's really where I'm painting it right now. So woo for Ethereum, that's really interesting news. That's really bullish news. So let's look at some of the data that suggests uh, in the past where we have seen uh, Ethereum go in the past. So let's take a look at that right now. Uh, and uh, I, I think it's pretty uh, interesting news. Uh, so if you guys are wondering uh, what the countdown clock is for Ethereum, uh, you can go right here onto the Ethereum uh, uh, website and they've got the live countdown clock. So it looks like we're looking at eight hours and 55 minutes uh, before the uh, London Heart Fork happens. So let's see what happens. We're either gonna go up, uh, you know, 10% or we could be going down, down. So either way, it's gonna be up 10% or down 10% in my opinion. And why do I say that? Well, we have seen in the past that, you know, local highs have historically occurred 80 days on average after the previous hard forks. If uh, London is similar, uh, then we could see that uh, the, you know, the high for, uh, for uh, Ethereum could come in around October and November. And everybody's saying that this bull run, we're going to definitely see something happening, something definitely happening in the wintertime for all the old coins. Everything is absolutely going to smash. So we saw that, you know, we had the Istanbul here and then around about 80 days we saw, we saw a high. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, and we saw, you know, the Constantinople 80 days later, we also saw, saw the high. So we're looking at probably from this point another 80 days before we actually see the total top and impact of that happening. So guys, I, I, I don't think, I think this London Hard Fork is going to be really good uh, for Ethereum. You know, we, like I said, we may see a, a, a small drop uh, or a 10% drop, a 10% going up. So it really depends on how the markets are going to move. I'm, I'm more optimistic and I think we're probably going to see ourselves going close to $3,000 after the London hard fork. And if that happens, what we're going to do is we're going to see Dogecoin go up. We're going to see Bitcoin. We're going to see Bitcoin go up and we're going to see all the coins go up. So here's something really interesting. This is really interesting. I found this today and I think no one's talking about it. If you go to the, if you go to the uh, Ethereum, uh, Ethereum.org website, you know, you have to welcome the Ethereum, la di da di da Then you go down, oh, pick a wallet, get ETAs. Now look at this, guys. Use ADAPT. So let's click on that. And it's talking about Ethereum-powered tools and services and bridge and stuff. So if I look at that, you, you know, I remember Vitalik is talking about uh, Doge, Ethereum bridge, and this and that. And, uh, you know, so dApps are growing a movement of applications that use Ethereum to disrupt business models and, and invent new ones. So for me, this looks like the Doge uh, Shiba Inu or Inu, Inu Shiba. And guys, comment. What do you think? I think Vitalik is trying to tell us something that, you know, they're building a Ethereum uh, Doge bridge and that's going to be a new dApp and that's when smart contracts are coming. So that's what, I mean, I look at that and I really think that's what he, they're linked to because, you know, and, and look, we've got, we've got the, uh, the Doge dog in a space suit. Look, he's wearing a space suit. All right. So is he trying to say Doge to the moon? Maybe Vitalik has become the next Elon Musk. Uh, but I don't think anyone's noticed that. Guys, comment. I think this is this is very telling. I think that the Ethereum bridge is coming. It's absolutely going to happen. It's going to be a new dApp. And wow. And I don't think anyone's talking about this in YouTube land. So I really think that this is the, the Shiba Inu, the Doge uh, mascot. He's in a spacesuit. So is, is Vitalik trying to tell us that Dogecoin to the moon? Maybe. I think that's what they're trying to tell us. Tell me what you think in the comments. So let's, let's take a look at the Doge price right now. The Doge, you Doge. So where's my Doge right now? My Doge at 20 cents. So we're back up to 20 cents. So that's really bullish news, guys. That's amazing, amazing. So we're, we're still above the 20-day uh, uh, moving average. Let me zoomy, zoomy that up for you guys. Let me zoomy, zoomy that up. 
and uh, let's get the zoomy zoomy happening. So we're above the 20-day uh, moving average right here, you can see, and we're well above the purple rain line, so I'm super excited about that. You should be excited. And we just need to break out here. So this is a one one day time frame. If we look at the if we look at the same thing on the uh, four hour time frame, uh, right now we are above our 200 uh, day moving average. We are above, well, just below our 20 and 50 day moving average. But you know, overall, we have broken past this uh, uh, downward trend line. This uh, you know this uh, d descending triangle, and we're above our purple trend line. So. Guys, I, I don't think we have much to worry about. A lot of people are saying, oh, it's really bad. But guys, we're, we're back up to 19, 20 cents again. So, you know, the, the markets are turning positive. Everything's looking pretty good. But this is, re this is really a shocker. Come on, guys. Tell me this is not telling you something. You know, why would Vitalik and the Ethereum uh, people choose the Shiba Inu dog in a space suit if they're not trying to tell us that those going to the moon guys you know let's put one-on-one -on -one together i think it's really powerful message right there all right guys let's jump into some news so like i said you know there's some debate is this going to be sell the news uh, event and you know buy the room or sell the news uh some people are saying it's not some people are saying it is uh, I think we're just going to have to take a wait and see attitude. Like I said, TA is basically uh, TA is basically you know it's like uh, organized or uh, you know it's like a you know it's kind of like gambling but with the technical data to support your position. So, but I think we could go either up or down uh, ten percent, either up or ten percent down. If we go up ten percent, like I said for Ethereum. Uh, we're going to see a $3,000 Ethereum coming in. If we go down, we could go down to $2,400, $2,500. So let's see how that plays out. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, like I said, we've got, uh, you know, about uh, nine hours uh, on the clock. Let me give that a refresh. We'll get the updated time. We've got eight hours and 57, se 57 minutes before that happens. So let's see where that happens. Some other news. Uh, coming in right now is that the Uruguay Senate introduces a bill to enable use of cryptocurrencies for payments. So you know, Uruguay is saying, look, we need to establish legitimate and safe use and business related to the production and commercialization of virtual currencies. So they want to use, enable uh, cryptocurrencies for payments. That's really good news. And then also Colombia is jumping on the bag. And so uh, it looks like that, you know, the development in the latest among number of countries looking to bring crypto into the fold, including Paraguay, we talked about that, which saw Bitcoin bill submitted uh, last month. Panama is now looking at adopting cryptocurrency on a national scale. Argentina uh, will be, you know, with a bill calling for workers to be paid in crypto. So Argentina is also looking at a crypto bill too. So Colombians have also thrown it their hat into the uh, whole ring uh, with one of the senators out there introduce a bill July 27 that targeted crypto exchanges and consumer protection. So it looks like that a lot of these South American countries are getting really serious and getting bullish about uh, crypto. So let's see how that pans out. Maybe South America will be the you know the cent the central haven for cryptocurrency innovation, blockchain, and mining in the future. Let's see what happens. You know we have this infrastructure tax bill that's coming out. Uh, is that going to push people to uh, more friendlier uh, places in South America? Maybe. Let's see. But uh, let's jump into the markets right now. Let's jump into the markets. So let me just give a quick refresh, refresh. But I've not, I've not seen this happen before. This is amazing with the Ethereum thing. It blows my mind. I just can't stop talking about it. So right now the market cap is up at 1.634 uh, trillion. The total volume is at uh, around about 53 uh, billion dollars, guys. And look at my Bitcoin dominance. My Bitcoin dominance is coming down again, which is what we need to see. Uh, my Binance, my, my my Binance, my Ethereum uh, dominance is coming up. So this is really good news, guys. Uh, right now, uh, Bitcoin is up at 3.75%, and that's at $39,392. I think we're going to break past uh, 40000 again today. We're up 16% for 30 days. And Ethereum right now is above the psychological 2700 uh, mark, and that's up 8.25% today. So that's good news. Uh, let's see if we can keep going. If we can continue this trend in, in, uh, you know, in light of the London hard fork coming out in about eight and a half hours, Maybe we can see a $3,000 Ethereum coming. Let's see. Let's see. I think it's going to happen. We're up almost 18.5% in seven days. And in the last uh, next 30 days, we're up, uh, you know, we're up 20.54 cents. That's not, not too shabby, guys. And uh, Binance is coming back at $334. And that's up 3.55%. Uh, so things are coming back. Things are turning green now overall. And we're looking at 7.23%. 
in the 30 days and 9.6% uh, over over 30 days and 7.23 three percent for uh seven come on get yours right get your brain is just going crazy here so my doge in the house is now up it's up uh, almost two percent so that's good guys and we're at 27 so i love to see us i love it when we're past 20 cents that gives me hope that gives me absolute inspiration and you know if ethereum goes up that's going to take all the cryptos go to go up with it and if ethereum goes up Bitcoin might go up. I think we're going to see 21 cent coming in for uh, for Doge over the weekend. Maybe even hit as high as 22 cents. So we're looking pretty good. Uh, Dot is up. Uh, Uni's up. Uh, you know, we got lots of Dot in our portfolio. Solana's up. So it's looking pretty pretty good overall, guys. So, guys, that being said, uh, I just want to say. Guys, God bless you. Thank you for being on this journey with you. You guys are what makes this channel really important. Without you guys, this channel wouldn't be here. I appreciate it, guys and gals out there. So once again, smash the likes. Subscribe, EYB. Guys, check out my links below. Remember, none of this is financial advice. It's never financial advice. Check out Zen Music Addict. Check it, check it, check it. Support the channel. Buy a Patreon. Go to Patreon, support the channel. Buy the channel on coffee, guys. Support the orphans in Vietnam. They're hungry. All the merch, all the Patreons, all the Super Chats, all the membership fees that I, we collect, they all go to charity, guys. They go, go, go. Uh, you know, the OG is in about the 25 days of lockdown now. It's crazy. I'm climbing the walls, but I'm still here. I'm still trying to, um, you know, gather as much steam as I can to help the orphans here in Vietnam as much as possible. So, guys, don't forget to check out my merchy merch. Uh, you know, we got great merch. We got lovely merch, guys. Woo! We got t-shirts, we got hoodies, we got the muggy mug. I love the muggy mug. You're gonna love the muggy mug. I mean right here, I got my I got my coffee right here in my muggy mug. So you know, get a mug guys. Mm, let me get my coffee. Mm, mm. I don't know why, but when I have coffee in my crypto daily trade signals mug, it tastes better. Trust me. You want better tasting coffee? Get the mug. Haha. <laughs> okay guys, so once again, I God bless all of you. Thank you for being part of this journey. Don't forget to uh, call to action. Hashtag Doge spreading love. Hashtag Doge pump it up. Take this video, paste it in your socials, get the message out, help support the OG. I love you guys. Woo! Let's get it. See you in the next one, guys. Woo hoo hoo! Rick Flair of Crypto come to you live from Asia. Wow, let's get it.